Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been so long since getting a race out. Week 13 typically tends to be a little bit of a lighter schedule for me due to the lack of official races, especially in the oval side. And so for me, uh, it kind of took the first half of the week or so to most of the week to really get some stuff done in real life and kind of catch back up. So hopefully that once the start of Season 3 rolls around, I'll be good to go and, and get a lot of racing done and make some improvements. So going to probably make a massive mistake that may or may not keep me from licensing up at the end of this week, but we're going to hope I can survive this somehow. We are in the Street Stock series for the 13th week Street Stock Challenge, and we are here at Charlotte, but we are on the Legends level. So we are on the quarter mile, and it's going to be a blast. So I'm going to go out for qualifying, try to see if I can get anywhere near the front of the field, find some way to uh, be able to stay in front of, of the madness that is going to happen. I... I not a very good feeling about this race. Just uh, hoping that I don't lose too much in the way of safety rating. It's got to get pounded, so we'll see what we can do. First lap's not real good. Just trying to get off the brakes, let the car roll through the center of the corner as much as possible. It's still not a very good exit out of turn two. Let's see what we can do on lap two. Looks like it's going to be slower as I just had a very bad three and four. Excuse me, that was the warm-up lap, was the first one, so. Not a great first lap, thought I was uh, actually done. Miscalculated that correctly, so. Second lap's not going to be any better, it's okay. We'll uh, just start middle of the field, it's a pretty weak strength of field. Uh, car number 5, I think there's 20 in the split, so. We're quite a bit off, but I feel like the biggest thing is just to be avoiding the chaos that's going to happen. Everybody's going to be driving into everybody. Oh yeah, I was not getting to a 429 at all. The one is just ungodly fast compared to everybody. I was never getting that. You can see my fast lap was only like a 590 something, so. Um, I mean, if you can survive carnage and not get taken out by anybody, uh, people, you know, dive bombing into the corners or just running all over the place, right front wear is probably going to come into play, being able to stay off of that. Uh, will probably be somewhat beneficial, but it's going to be more like an enduro slash demo derby that it's just going to be stay out of wrecks, don't get punted by people constantly, and you'll probably have a decent finish by itself. Um, I, I, I don't really know what I'm honestly expecting. Just going to have to see what we can do. Let's see, the 17's done, the 11 disconnected. Hopefully it doesn't make us sit for the last minute to get the 11 back in but I bet you it's probably going to so um yeah I gotta run this and probably a dirt street stock race um for the official stuff in, in week 13 um C open B open and NIS are still running so I probably will get both of those all three of those in as well uh C open and NIS are at Sonoma due to the uh the actual Cup Series and Truck Series schedule, so I'm probably going to take advantage of running both of those. Um, just I road courses, you know, I'm trying to get better at, and road courses, and stock cars is, is obviously the best thing. Um, so probably going to run both of those. I'll probably separate the videos out by a day, just so you don't have two road races back to back on basically the same thing. But I'm going to try that and. Uh, be open is at Chicagoland, and I've actually enjoyed Chicagoland. I have not run it in the Xfinity cars, um, but probably will do that to try it and see what happens. So, got bumped back to 11th. Um, a couple people jumped us, so no big deal. We'll start on the inside, back half of the field. Just going to have to uh, endure the madness that will be this race. So, see what we can do. I'm probably going to just lay low for the first few laps and, and take it real easy and then uh, go from there so get gridded up uh, the goal is just not to drop below a 3.0 in safety rating that's that's my only plan is just stay above 3.0 and go from there uh, we'll pull up session best lap although I don't think laps times are gonna be a massive deal I think it's gonna be more about not getting punted correct so um, turn the chat down I don't feel like hearing it right now so, uh, yeah, it's, this is going to be probably my biggest mistake. I think this will be a bigger mistake than any super speedway race. Um, <laughs> it's going to be rough. So, I, 
honestly, I'm more worried about not having like 15 or 16 incidents. If I can keep it under like eight, I'll be really happy with that. Single digits incidents will be nice. Um, I, I don't, I don't really know what to expect, honestly, other than just chaos and cars wrecking every which way. I haven't, I've only looked at some race results for these. I have not actually watched any, so we'll see what's going to happen. Um, got guys lighting it off the line already. Cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a bloodbath. So just keeping it clean, keeping it going the right direction, avoiding cars is going to be the biggest key to, uh, to being able to make anything out of this. So, and, uh, yeah, I don't know Hey, you can hear contact already. That's what's going to be fun. Um, I don't know. I, I guess top half would be nice. Get to 10th. If, uh, you know, if we can shoot for a top five and finish where I'm supposed to, I'll be happy with that too. So we'll see. But we're going to be getting ready to go next time. Pace car is going to be pulling off into turn three and the leader will go whenever the leader wants. I don't think they have a restart zone on for this. So we'll see what the leader is going to do in terms of going. It's probably going to put us at a bit of a disadvantage, but we'll see what we can do. So we are off and rolling. 50 laps here in the madness. I think I might have come up into the 13, but goal is just to get here through turn one. You see guys cutting Dylan. down, trying to get to the inside. We're just going to hang Dylan. here to the inside. Try to slow the car down Dylan. enough. We'll get over to the relative as well. We got one car going That's wide right, out of clear. turn four. Able to manage to uh, pull away and pick up a spot. So we got the 12 blinking in front, which is no big deal. Got the two coming up. If anybody looks to be much faster than me, then I'm just going to try to let them by rather than trying to block or do anything. Oh, yeah, you're, yeah. Cars everywhere. This is going to be fun. Yeah, like but gotten away f much longer than I thought without any contact, so okay. I'll take that. P9. I feel like I might be a little bit faster than some of these cars up front, but it's going to be hard to find the passing opportunities as well as without doing, you know, doing it without making any contact. So we'll see what we can do. Short track racing, though. Fastest Guys, if they continue to burn tires, we'll fall yeah, off, so... Clear. Got the 13 to get by, we get by him without any issues. Two's gonna be looking to our inside as I kinda entered a little bit later into three. Nowhere near pace, but right now it's more about surviving. Just trying to roll the car as best as I can. We'll see what the two's gonna do if he's gonna continue picking up pace. If he is, I'll probably try to let him by because he's got enough of a gap behind. Let's just One get him by. Inside. I think it's gonna be more beneficial. Perhaps I can Even follow in behind one. him to get by the 12 and the 7. Still there. Clear inside. That's just kind of race strategy there. I don't really want to get taken out, and I think when somebody's a lot faster than me, I'd rather give up the Eight one time. spot to fall behind him and potentially gain more later on. And we had a big enough gap that there was no reason to uh, to continue to challenge them and possibly allow everybody else to get up and then we get freight trying to fall further back. So it's just kind of thinking long term for the race. That last lap was a 17.09. Race is actually going a lot cleaner than I thought. I figured I'd see cars just all over the place. So maybe it's the time of day compared to some of the other ones that I saw. I don't know. But we're almost 20% of the way in. Working lap 9 of 50. Get a little bit of contact up ahead between the 7 and the 14. 12's trying to work his way up through that group. This is where I'm just going to try to follow the 2 through. Can't quite get back to the 2's bumper, but if I can follow the 2 through. A little bit more contact there between the 12 and the 14. There's side by side, 12's blinking, we're gonna try to get to his inside going into turn one. Let's see if right he tries side. to cut down. Keep it steady. No cautions in this, so On your right. not really worried about, you know, being inside versus outside there. for a restart. Still there. there are no restarts, so. Slowly working on right the side. 12. It's gonna take a little bit, especially because I'm getting pinched into the corners. There. It's Stay kinda killing position. the momentum, but still there. I think the inside lane will still prevail. On your right. Just trying to keep it off of him as best as I can. He's you can there. see Digging. everybody in front pulling away because they're able to run He's still a little bit of a wider arc into the corner. 14 He's kind of there. locking it up, getting into the corners. Hold your line. 
not quite clear of the 12 Still there. yet. 14's He's definitely still there. driving in clear deep, trying line. to stay off the 7. We're finally able to clear the 12. I think I should be able to pull away from him, but we'll watch for a dive bomb. He's working to the inside of the 14. Don't think I'm quite close enough to be able to get behind him. Yeah, the 14 was able to get down, so... I think the 14's eventually going to make a mistake up, though, with how much he's breaking into the corners. That's the fastest lap. We are working lap 15 now. Able to drive a little bit better through the center of the corner, so we're going to get to the inside of the 14, kind of force him to run that outside line. Hopefully build up. Roll off the corner a little bit better there, there. and let the 14 and the 12 battle right each other. Better Let's see if we place. can clear them this time off at turn two fully. Yep. All right. So that puts us up to eighth. Don't know if a top five is going to happen, but positive spots gained from the start. And uh, somehow, just for that brush of the wall, still able to keep it clean. Got the 17 was a lap down. Going to watch out for him. Just yeah, going to try to get by him on the inside at three. He's still there. Clear high. We'll clear him. He stayed high. Thank you to him. So, yeah. Um, two and seven are pulling away. That's okay. I think the seven's eventually going to make a mistake. I was kind of contending with the uh, 12 and the 14 for a bit, so. Top five's probably not going to happen because the okay, front Jack, five are gone. The car is Smith. They're three seconds ahead. You can see the 10th, fifth place car, but. Uh, Rex can happen at any point, especially with this. We get into even more lap traffic. So anything can happen, but really, I'm just worried about trying to uh, maintain 8th if I can keep it clean. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it would be, but we still have plenty of race left to go. So we are only going to be 20 laps in and have 30 to go this time by. P8. I think uh, more guys drive it in deeper too, you'll start to see a difference in speed as the race goes on, the last half of the race, so trying to be a little bit kinder earlier on so that later on I don't have as much fall off. Two drove way inside of the seven, clean move, just able to outbreak them, seven kind of lost it. So we'll see if we can get to the seven. Eventually work by him, 12's diving it in pretty deep, 14's way off the radar. 12 continues diving in, I may get the spot back, but I think he's going to end up wearing the okay, tires out, increasing. and it's we might be able to pull away. Fahrenheit. We are slowly catching the 10, but I don't think there's going to be enough time to get back there. And if we get into a battle with the 7 or the 12, it's going to slow us down again. But we're just logging laps, trying to work our way, watching out for the 12. Not much I can do if he does happen to break late and get into the back of me. Just trying to focus on my line. He gets in the wall on the back stretch, which is going to give me a little bit of a reprieve. Although I get a really bad exit out of turn four. Just focusing right now on hitting my marks. Trying to let the car roll through the center of the corner. See if I can get back to the seven. We've got locking going on up front. 20 front is a now. lap car. One, zero, zero. 10 for 5th place. I don't even know what's going on now. We got cars okay, everywhere. This That's is kind of... Distance. Fuel levels are fine. The stuff I was expecting. 15's a lap car. 20's a lap car. See if we can pick the uh, 12 behind the 20. Just trying to work to the inside of the 20. 20's going to drive back in on the 7, so there could easily be contact. Why the 20 is racing this way, I don't really understand. But I guess that's 13th week, you could say that. Trying to stay right off of the 7, but use 20 as a pick to get to his inside. Although the 20 is much slower, we may not be able to get by. This is going to be a fun side by side battle. Trying to do what I can, the 20 is all over the place. Try to outbreak the 20 into the corner, see if I can keep him up high. Slowly work by him, let the 12 and the 7 now battle. Hopefully get by the 20 and then be able to pull away from the 12 and the 7. Well, the 20, 12 did the right thing, got to the inside. 20 was able to clear him. I was hoping it was going to hold him up a little bit more than what it did. Alright, so we're in 7th. I'll take that. We got a spot on the 7. Again, I don't think a top 5 is going to happen. 7 drives way deep on the 12 in the middle of 1 and 2. Can't tell if the 2 locked it up or if the 10 locked it up. And we get taken out by the 12. Car inside, keep high. 
That was kind of expected. So, 4X, um, 30 laps in, I'll deal with that. Uh, that was all on the 12, or the 7 just driving in deep, which we saw the 7 driving in deep on the 12, so... I don't know, there was nothing I could do. That's just how these guys race. 15 was able to get by, 15's lap car, no big deal, we'll deal with that. If I can get out of this with a 4X, that's that's plenty good with me. That is plenty good with me. Got one inside. Uh, no idea Clear what the low. 15 did. Get I kind of locked it up because I thought he was still going to be there. I think he just pulled way to the inside to let us by. So back to 8th. Uh, really fortunate to have not gotten spun around and lost even more spots or had the field plow into me. Got the 12 back on our bumper. Just going to continue to uh, work the best that I can. Probably towards the right front. 17 to go. Lost a lot of time to the 7, but like I said, he wanted to drive in aggressively. Line, you got one. 12 got to my inside. inside. Probably have to let him go. Kind of broke a little late. He think he backed off. He gets a run out of 4. Watch the relative and I meant to see if we're getting on seven. I had a really, really bad entry into one there. And I had to break twice. On the Trying to keep it off of the 12, still keep there. it high. He's still there. Clear He's low. gonna clear us, so that's fine. We're back to ninth. Can Deal with him. that. We'll just follow behind him. We are gonna be battling the 14, the 18's not on the lead lap, so potentially just one more spot. I just need to be breaking a little bit earlier than what I am and a little bit more brake pressure going into the corner. It's just all driving mistakes that cost me the spots of the 12. 7 got by the 17 who's been multiple laps down. Trying to regroup and at least keep it in 9th. That lap was a Working our way towards 10 one. to go. Even with that dive by the 7, still pretty clean race overall. We'll go back and watch the replay of that. I, I think he just drove it in way too deep, personally, but like I said, we saw him do that to the 12. Was 17 or two, eight. 12 kind of got wide out of turn 2, came back down off the wall. I don't think he actually made contact with the wall, so Under we're going to try to take advantage of his mistakes, work back to his inside. Keep it together. Kind of the same thing that... Pie he was doing to me while I was making the mistakes. E9. Keeps driving in deeper, which causes him to go wide. We've got wreck up here, Coming which up should here. be one spot. Right. I get into the 12. Right side. Clear outside. Somehow, no incident points out of that. I'm really sorry about that 12. Didn't mean to get in you. Eighth get him an apology. Don't even know if he's on the radios. That's okay. We got one car just continuing to sit there for some reason. Don't know why he's not towing, but we got nine to go. Two lap cars up ahead, both the 17 and the 16, so I think the best we're going to probably be able to do is 7th if we get by the 12, but we'll yeah, see what right happens. I was worried about the 17 coming off the wall. So kind of drives in a bit deep, pushes it up, I'm able to pick up a little time. We're half a second back. I'm do the best I can to try to close up on him and see if I can get 7th before the end of the race. Just seven laps to do it, though, this time by. Let's see what we can do. Pick up a tenth. Six and the fifteen are both lap cars up ahead, so no spots to be gained there. That's why I think seventh is the closest I'm going to be able to get. I think that's the fifteen locking it up constantly, especially in a turn three. Twelve's got the blinking. We're able to get a little better run. Got it down to three tenths now. All he's got to do is be smart and just defend the inside, and it'll make it really tough for me to be able to get by. And lap traffic probably will play P8. a negative outcome for me in this battle, because he's probably just going to run to the inside, and I'm going to have nowhere to go. We've got five to go. That lap time was 17.40. Okay, Jake. Trying to roll the center a little we'll bit better, get back onto the throttle. You got one on 15 the just pulls to the inside. inside out of the way, but he causes problems for 14, right. which helps me. Outside. Could not quite get back to the throttle as early with the 12 pushing out. I did not want to push up into him. So we lost a little bit of time doing him that way. We got one car that's off the track. Right that was a lap car. I get into the 12. 
sides. Don't know why the shift team is doing that. That's weird. Get the leader by. Uh, stupid mistake right at the end. Was doing really well until that point. I, I just flat out drove into the back of him. That was completely my fault. So we got the white flag. We're going to finish lap down because of that weird shifting deal. Um, leader was way faster than us anyways, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so not, not my best showing at all, but... I don't know. I, it's hard. I, it was just me overdriving it. Oh, we'll take it. I guess this 8x is about as good as it was going to be. Take a look at both of those. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously the, the last deal was my fault. I did not mean to get into them, but. Let's jump to the far chase and take a look at what happened there. Look at the deal with the... Seven, I want to say it was... Yeah, it was this lab. Alright, so we worked by the seven. The Twelve was working to the inside of them. Twelve was actually working to the inside of the twenty. It's going to be kind of tough to see, but you can see 12 on the inside. I think the 7's going to dive this time on the 7, or the 12, yeah. Dives it in the middle of 1 and 2, kind of makes contact with his door. Just, I don't know, like bumps him up a little bit. Okay, so that wasn't even the 7th. That was weird. Uh, that was like net code? Prediction code? Because you see the 12, like, he's coming in, and then he's going to blink right there, and then all of a sudden, I'm going to get turned, right here. And then he's going to reappear. So, I think that was a bit of prediction code slash, like, the uh, the blinking that the 12 was doing. I thought it was actually the 7 got into me. I'm completely wrong there. So, 7 didn't do anything wrong. 7 just ended up being in the right spot to take advantage. He just got directly into my left side door, which actually probably helped me because it didn't continue to spin me around, and I was slow enough that the point when the 12 got into me, it didn't really do anything, so... I don't know, maybe that's a little, like, I guess I shouldn't, I should not have gotten into the 12 at all, but I kind of call that a little bit of payback karma in a way, whatever you want to call it, so, um... You're gonna see this, this next lap is, is where we're gonna get into the back of my... I was chasing him down cleanly, and, uh, you know... I don't know. 15 pulled out of the way, which kind of made for a weird thing. 12 pushed up. I couldn't quit back to the throttle because I didn't want to get into him, even though I probably had a lot more room than I thought. And then, uh, let's see. I think it'll be the next lap. No, it'll be into turn three. I just... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, so what it was was I just... Let's see. He blinks. So I get to the inside, he reappears just as I'm getting off of the throttle, or off of the brake, and he was a bit slower than what I thought he was. So when he disappeared, I probably should have checked up and held the brake even more. That was just my fault there, but it was kind of tough to judge it with the, the blinking. So, um, And then because I, for whatever reason, just couldn't get the shifting going, I, it was you know way off, and that's what cost me a couple spots. So... Um, I don't know, I mean, I guess an 8x is not terrible. We can look at it, you can see a lot of people... Nobody, one person got DQ, which is actually surprising, but we'll take a look at the results and see. Um, but yeah. 80, 95, you can see how bad if you were the right front out that does that. That's just, I guess, a quarter mile slash street stock slash the setup that's pretty tight. So, um, yeah, could have been way worse. I, again, stupid mistake with the 12 there. Probably should have judged the blink a little bit better and, and backed off a little bit more and just, uh, you know, contended where I was. But I don't know. I, I feel bad for that. I'll, I'll send him an apology afterwards. I think he, uh, yeah, he disconnected already, so I'll definitely apologize to him, send him something. Um, but let's take a look at the results. Like I said, definitely could have been far worse, but I will gladly take it to start. Uh, just two split race, 1995 strength of field. Um, managed to lose 0.14, which is sadly probably not one of the highest ones. Looks like there was a lot of guys that the two lost 0.73. So he'll still be in an A, but yeah, a lot of guys are probably staying away from this. I just didn't like the rest of the tracks for the rest of the week that I didn't want to deal with it. So I um, actually managed to gain 16 in eye rating. So I guess when you're that low, that's what happens. But um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's, it was a fun race. Uh, 
it was a lot cleaner than I thought for most of it. And then we kind of had that, that issue at the end. So um, overall, not bad, but we'll take it. So uh, feel free to leave any comments. Like I said, I just on me for getting in as well, but I guess it's a little bit of payback for the blinking thing that he got into me. So we'll deal with it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, try to get this normalcy, probably run a dirt streak stock race for the next one. And then back to uh, NASCAR stuff. And then we'll be rolling into uh, season three at that point. So, Feel free to leave any comments, and otherwise, until the next one, I hope all your laps are fast, your races are clean, and your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.